And all of a sudden, I finished my first week here in Sweden. What is that, man? Why are you doing that? And outside of my assumptions before coming here, I have no complaints about it. On the other hand, it has actually surprised me quite a lot. I didn't thought at all that living in the cabins would be like this. But like still, like being in Scandinavia or not, we're in the woods in the middle of nowhere with the closest town city, it's like half an hour away and it's about 30,000 people which is nothing like London has 10 million people but it, it has thought me like really important things like it, it came to my mind the scene in Rocky 4 where he went when Rocky went to the woods to train for the fight against Drago and I have heard it before like not only in Rocky that people go to the mountain or to the woods to concentrate themselves to their best through the highest potential so that way when they encounter their biggest goals or ambitions they're the best prepared they can because they're so concentrated into it and as well something that this trip has told me or this week has told me is that people usually adapt really really quickly to situations like when when i came here i thought oh no we did well the first four days we didn't have running water inside of the house so we had to use a pump outside of the house we didn't have internet the first two days but then you adapt really quickly because back in the day we used to be nomads we had to move from one place to another one really quickly and we didn't have any time of adaptation or stuff so you just had to adapt re really quickly and there was no other like, it's either you adapt or you die. Another thing that for me it's a bit funny now is that people are usually really afraid for nothing. Like, when people first leave their hometown, uh, they're like so scared. They're like, oh no, I'll leave my friends that I have been with since I was fucking three years old and I will leave them. But if you, if you actually took your fears and put them aside and you just went and accomplish your goal you would see that it is way easier than what you actually think it is but the difficult thing is living your fears away throwing them to the side and just do like go and accomplishing your thing go for it that's the most difficult thing shout out to my friend uh, lisa she's from university she's like british and swedish and she has always told me like yeah sweden is so good sweden is so good you have to go you have to see it with your own eyes and I didn't believe her. I was like, no, probably London is 10 times better. No, freaking Sweden is the most calming place. Well, Scandinavia in general, these four countries, these four magnificent countries, they're so good. Now I see why their quality of living is that high, why they're the most developed countries in the world. It all makes sense now. Well, it also may have something to do with having a view like this, not a lie no matter where you go you'll still need to do the basic things of life like you still need to shower you'll still need to shave you still need to work out cook like no matter where you are the basic parts of your life you'll still need to do them whether you are in sweden or in france or in america or, in, or the uk it doesn't matter at all you'll still need to do the basic things whether you're here in the middle of a forest or in the biggest city in the world in the biggest apartment in downtown of that city another thing about the people of sweden is that they have treated me really like really really good all the people from the plumbers that put the bathroom to the people you go out with everyone is treating me super super good and coming from France with all the respect to France like when I first went there the f well I'm still not treated that good but here I've been here a week and they have like the, since the first day they treated me so beautifully so I felt so calm and they were so joyous and happy with me like just having 
I feel loved. I feel appreciated here. And it is something that not a lot of countries have. So probably Scandinavian countries have it. Or especially this part of Sweden. Or I don't know if it's just that they love me or something. But I feel really, really, really well treated here. And shout out to the people that I've met here. They're probably watching this video too. Hashtag Sweden. So probably the most important things I have learned during this week is that you'll still need to do the same things over and over again no matter where you are like your your life will still be the same and you'll be really really surprised on how quickly people adapt themselves to the situation in two three days you can really be adapted into a system that is that quickly but people just overthink it too much and they say, oh no, it's going to be so difficult, it's going to be awful, it's going to be such a big change. No, there's no reason in overcomplicating your adaption to a new place or environment. And as well, you don't define, like your environment doesn't define you, you define your environment. So the way you are is way more important than where you are. And just to say goodbye to the video. See this beautiful Swedish sunset.